if you just tuned in, so Rue is with us with Mum JJ as well. And we're going to find out now about the reason we do Teapot Tuesday, because it's all linked to a charity that you support, isn't it, Rue? Tell us about the Teapot yes. Trust. So um, I found out about the Teapot Trust when I made a friend on the island. She was visiting her family and her mum and dad had set up the Teapot Trust in the UK um, in memory of their daughter, Verity. And they've brought it to the Isle of Man. Um, in they launched it last autumn. Um, so now any fundraising I can do can go straight to the Isle of Man, supporting kids on the Isle of Man that need that extra bit of support, which is really great. And it's linked in with art, isn't it? Yeah, the art therapy. Um, so when when um, Verity was in hospital, in and out in the hospital a lot, and she was very confused because she didn't know she didn't know why she she didn't think anything was wrong with her. And she wasn't. She didn't like having injections and constantly in and out. Um, and she was confused and angry. And her parents realised that when she was doing art therapy, she could relax and she had um, more control. So that's why it's the Teapot Trust supports art therapy. And is it something now that is becoming more sort of known on the Isle of Man as well? Have you noticed that it, there is? Has it been used much over here? Do you know? Um, not yet, they're just getting started. Yeah. I think there's an art therapist. Mum, is there an art therapist? There was. So we did a pilot study um, on the Isle of Man with Nobles Hospital through the CAMS unit last year. And uh, luckily we've been able to now um, put an art therapist in place. So that service will be starting very soon. So look out for news on that coming very shortly. Um, we've obviously had some delays, as everybody has with uh, the coronavirus situation, but we're back on track um, and so that will be starting shortly. Oh, fantastic news. That must make you feel so good, knowing yeah. that this is progressing like this. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and you're still from, you're obviously very good friends with the family, aren't you? So. Yeah, me and, I, me and Isla, we've, we've seen each other every year, every summer, until, until this summer, unfortunately. But we still, we send each other letters. And you've been fundraising for this charity for a couple of years now, haven't you? Yeah, um, I, um, I started busking when I was nine. So um, I remember the first time I bust was for the church in Blaff um, during the TT fortnight because obviously it gets really busy and the bikers have been supporting me really, really well. And what's funny um, is the stories you get to hear from everyone and sometimes they have a dance as well, which kind of makes it hard to carry on playing because you're, you're trying not to laugh. Um, so and from then, when I found out when I met Isla, I decided, well, I want to support these kids as well because um, at the time I had a friend at school, one of my classmates, and he was battling cancer and I realised how scary it was and how confusing it must be and I was like, I, I, want, to, I want to do something. So um, I was like, I can busk outside every TT and that's how I can raise money for the Teapot Trust. Oh, that is just brilliant. Was that busking just you, just you and the whistle? Or, yeah, just or, me and the whistle. Yeah. Um, I, I've done it. I've been all over the island now. I've been um, outside ShopRite, um, on Peel, by the Swing Bridge, up at Ramsey. And this year, um, because of coronavirus, having to do it all online, there was um, we had no idea what we were doing. <laughs> we um, So lots of charities have been struggling. And obviously people have been trying to go online. So we're like, I can go online too. So I asked my mum, can I get a YouTube channel? Can I get a Just Giving page? Um, and so that's how we came up with Teapot Tuesday. And it's brilliant, isn't it? And, you know, JJ, you must be so proud because she has she does this herself, doesn't she? This is all Rue. This is all Rue, uh, absolutely. And, yes, she plays brilliantly. And it's just lovely to see her ideas coming together. Um, and it's for a really, really good cause as well. So that's excellent to see. Um, and yeah, who knows what will happen in the remainder of the 26 weeks. She's got another 10 weeks of her charity challenge to go. So good things to come, I'm sure. Yeah, absolutely. Now, you have uh, a couple of pieces that you're going to play for us today. And this yeah. first one is something really quite special, isn't it? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to play a, a version of the Mad Hatter's Tea Party from the original Alice in Wonderland. And that's because um, it's it's like my tribute to Verity, because when she was in hospital, she loved a proper tea party. That's why it's called the Teapot Trust. Oh, brilliant. Well, let's hear that. This is Rue, 13 years old, playing live in the studio on her whistle. This is going to be wonderful. Take it away, Rue. OK.
is some talent, my Thank word. You. And you adapted that yourself, did you? Yeah, literally a couple of days ago. Oh my goodness, that is absolutely extraordinary.